Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome to Subnautica. We're for Warpath. We're inside uh, Cyclops Charlie. We're planning to build a base down below, somewhere in the depths of the Lost River. However, we are going to need to probably change around our inventory. We need to pick up some sort of biological object so that we can put it into the bioreactor and create energy. The reason we need energy in our base, immediately upon making the base, is that, well, we don't want to drown. It's a pretty, you know, mundane peril, but uh, hey oh, you know, I like to uh, switch things up a bit. I don't fancy going out without my uh, stasis rifle at basically above 60%, because that thing is so clutch. It's so good. It's like, oh, you're a big threat. I will shoot with the stasis rifle. You know, I'm happy like that. Right. Dive. Dive, 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 dive. Now, if I recall, the way we were going to go to build our base was this way. That's a warper behind me. Oh god, that's a warper above me. Just keep going. Just keep going, just keep going. Do we do? We go. go. Great. I'll have to put down some beacons at some point so we can actually remember the way back down. Oh. Giant crab squid thing that pops in and out of existence. Lovely. There's some aluminum oxide crystals all around the side on some gel sacks. I'll we'll have to pick up some of those. A thermal plume. That's going to be really useful for power. We can totally use that for power. Ow! Okay, maybe we can also use that to murder ourselves. Um, okay, so, foundation. We're going to need this as a... Well, I think you've guessed the foundation of our base. Then we need a multi-purpose room. Then we're going to need a hatch. And I'm pretty sure that the buyer is actually going to take more than we've got here. What about if we were to build a... You need magnetite for the thermal plant? Oh, that's going to be a problem. Now back up there we go. Pick up some of these on the way. We've got a little bit of spare time. Not a lot. Message. Message. Subject 1173783 destroyed. Mode something in patrol. New targets acquired one? Wait, is that me? So they're targeting me. I'm the only one left. But they just killed someone else, so there was actually someone on the planet. I feel a bit bad now. Should have met up with them and gone to the sunbeam together. Oh god, whoopsie! Right, well, I'll dump most of my gear in here. We don't have enough titanium to actually finish building the base. We can't build a bioreactor without more titanium. I guess I could deconstruct my bed. Yeah. It's not my primary, like, go-to solution, but hey oh, Deconstruct my bed. We'll check what we need. In terms of a bioreactor, lubricant titanium. We have those. Lubricant titanium. Sweet. Let's do this. We'll probably need to go back upstairs to uh, grab ourselves a load of resources so to actually do anything more than this, but the initial base should be able to be set up. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. And... There we go! Can't seem to put the spine power fish in. Restored. All primary systems online. Hmm. Well, there we go. We now generate power, like not particularly fast by any means. That's one point of power out of a hundred. 
You can only put organic items in the bioreactor. Oh. So the spinefish doesn't count as an organic item? Okay. That said, we actually have power in the base now, which is enough for us to be able to breathe. This is what a multi -pur You know what? I like this room. I like this room. It feels spacious. It's nice. I like this. More of these. Now, we can't actually see out or anything. The entire base is actually uh, only just manageable. Actually, how can I find out the HP of the base? I can't. Oh. If you have too many things attached to your base, then uh, it breaks apart, especially at depths like this. Ooh, urine. Yay. That's a bit of an explore round. So that's heat over there. We could actually get rid of the bioreactor and if we'd make magnetite and put a thermal thingy down. That's a giant rib cage. What the hell are you? Probably not friendly. Let's give it a wide berth. What the hell is that? We need to... There we go. We need to investigate this. I mean, while I take loads of these crystals, because you don't find them in many places. What the hell is this? Okay, there's another communications out there somewhere, but, uh... Ah! River Prowler. There we go. How do I scan this? It must be scannable. It must be. You're joking, isn't it scannable? It's enormous. I feel very slow at the moment. I'm gonna head back towards the base. Don't know why, but this feels very slow. Weird pillars and stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's not that I'm slow, it's just that this is so large an area, I'm just not used to it. Wow, this is, you know, also, also very creepy. Kinda cool. I'm gonna turn my flashlight off, we're gonna run out of power if we're not careful. Because we need the power to be able to get to the surface as well. Help to get to the Cyclops. If we don't have power, we're not going to make it to the Cyclops. And that means we're stuck down here forever. This place is so cool. Hell, we might just need this one base as a stopping off point. Like, we might not even need to build something in it. The thing is that because it's got a... Uh, what do you call this? A smoker? A nearby? Oh, hello. Because it's got a smoker nearby, one of those like underwater chimneys, it's perfect for getting heat energy. Because a temperature of greater than 15 degrees, which it definitely is because it burned me, will allow us to generate heat energy from it, which we can use to power base rather than to use a bioreactor, which I have to fill up and forget about. This is me. Right. Up, 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 and away! There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hello. All systems online. Right, what do we pick up? We picked up a load of... Ooh, actually a load of stuff. Not like I can probably fit it anywhere. We're going to need to uh, spend some titanium building up our storage capacity on here as well. And have a few lockers minimum. You know what? Let's eat the spine fish. See what it's like. Hopefully it's nutritious and won't murder me. 
Mmm, spine fish. 23 food? Three water. Never eat the antenna. Okay, don't eat the antennae. 20. Okay. That's really nice. It's really nice. Ultimate distress signal from LifePod 12. Coordinates received. Warning. LifePod has sunk beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Ooh, okay. Where's that? There. Ooh, that's a long way away. That's beyond the Aurora. That's even further in the island weapon. Oh, God. Well, I did say it's really deep down, so I guess maybe we will need this. What I think we need to do, by the way, in terms of this, is we need to remove this and replace it with like a load of the little um, pot planters, what they're called. Composite plant pot. Because there are 4x4 as opposed to 16x16, 16 16, and we can put like a load of melons in them. This is going to be an interesting ascent. We're going to need to go up. Let's use our cameras. I know people have told me not to use cameras because uh, they draw the attention of baddies, but that's going to be quite helpful. Okay. All right, full speed ahead. We're going to go to our base in the center of the map. We're going to go grab a whole crap ton of stuff, uh, which is going to look very much like that. Hmm. Any more around here? Well, I guess we'll grab it. Any more? No. Oh, actually, is that... That might be some. No, it's probably just terrain. Okay, let's go out and grab that, because, hey, I want titanium. Whee! We're going to go to the center of the map. We're going to go grab some titanium. Probably grab maybe a couple of creep vine seeds as well, because I've got a couple, but they are going to be useful. There we go. I know, it's not particularly, like, pretty down here, but at the same time, I have mentioned it before. It's worth mentioning again, because I know someone's going to bring it up. In that I'm not looking for pretty down here. Maybe upstairs, but here, I just want everything to be next to each other so it's super functional. I can quickly get to stuff. Because as much as I like making things a little bit aesthetically pleasing, I will get frustrated if I have to keep running around the ship for resources on different levels. There we go. Have some salt. Oh, we're missing our grav gun. Yeah, we put that away. I was like, why are we not having enough encumbrance? There we go. All right. right. Let's claim our loot. Hmm. Reclaimed water. I'll drink that really quick. It's kind of blocking my inventory. We probably have plenty of resources in terms of building the prawn suit now. The question is, do we want to build? Like, what could we use it for? Like, you can't mine or anything without an arm upgrade. I think the only arm upgrade we've got unlocked is the grapple arm. Which is actually fairly decent, because we need a way to move it around, and apparently the grapple arm is the way to move it around. But even then, like, what would we use it for? Exploration! Yeah. I don't want to risk going around in a slow-moving, expensive vehicle that will get murdered at the first sign of trouble. Morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, hello, well, this is the kelp biome. Well, the creep vine. Sorry, creeper vine. I don't want to get it right. People might, you know, get their pretenses wrong. They might expect me to get things right more often. Just, you know, get it wrong. People expect you to get it wrong and just stay there. Otherwise, people will be sad. 
and we can see inside a base, which is weird. But sure. Sure. Alright, bring her up. In a dock. Also notice we're running out of power, so we should probably go back to the engine room. Hello, engine room. Okay. We need to get loot. And then we need to head over to... Life Pod 12 over there. So, I might even get the magnetite to be able to do the underwater stuff. I'm going to do the uh, loot and stuff, basically going around looting basic resources, hopefully finding copper, mostly focusing on basic resources like titanium, but hopefully finding some copper. Try and get some tail coral, etc. Just a lot of the uh, resources you'll need all over the place. But uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so after being in the safe shallows for a while, I may have splashed out a little bit. Welcome to the new storage area. Which is a little bit full. These aren't full. Actually, these aren't full. I just found that, oh, look, I could put some more stuff up here. That isn't actually used. Also, the new growing area. Look at it. It's got melons. Lovely. You can actually get like four melons in a pot. But look at that. Four melons. If I put them in the bigger thing, I wouldn't get that many. Actually, maybe I would. I don't know. Anyway. I don't need that water. Nope. I'm in here. There we go. Just going to keep my urine in a locker. Um, Got rid of that. Put a couple of planters in here. I think this is... Mostly I've got the planters here just to add to the ambiance. Like, there needed to be something there. Maybe there should be like a lantern tree. Because they, they'd look better if they grew up. Hmm. The lantern tree here kind of gets in the way. Now, we'll think about that. There's actually nothing in there. I don't know why I was going to go in the engine room. Anyway, we're going to go and we're going to head towards Life Pod 12. We've actually got a load of resources on board. And I probably should do something with them. Like, make a prawn suit. But at the same time, what would I do with the prawn suit? Like, I've got no decent arms for it. I've got the grapple arm. That's about it. Oh, let's head on. I literally cannot see. Okay. Um, let's actually not go the full speed ahead. Because that life pod is actually in front of the Aurora. So it's actually further away than we've been before. And I do not fancy taking that on. Take me on. Take me. Okay, let's just not try and ram our base. Oh, all that thing to the side. Now, the reason I also put a ton of storage on board is because this is our actual way of moving large amounts of resources around. I'm not going to lump it on foot. In fact, I can't carry very much on foot. So, the easiest way of transporting large amounts of resources between bases or between different locations is always going to be this. So, of course, I want to get as much storage as possible on board. It's, you know, mostly a mobile transportation system, really. In addition to an exploration vessel, I guess. Boy. That's my bad. Sunk below 250. Well, it's fairly deep. It's not super deep. Like, we can make that even in the sea moth at the moment. Still, it's one hell of a distance away. Like, the Aurora's over there, and we're going substantially past there. I don't know how close I want to get, like... The further I get towards the edge of the maps... Oop. Whoopsie. I didn't do that. The more I guess we're going to find Leviathan things to try and constrain our movements. Try and keep us in the center of the map. So I don't want to... I'm actually getting a little bit wary now. Oh. What the hell's that? Wait, that's getting closer. Ah! Retreat! 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 What the hell was that? What the hell? 
I've seen you before. You can damage my ship. Oh, you cheeky sod. Okay. Well, this is going to get interesting. Let's do some healing. Okay, the port and starboard. We've got our stasis rifle if we need it. Okay, let's try that again. If they're the size of the issue, we're probably okay. But we're going to have to go silent running to get in here. Which means all lights off. Rig for silent running. Now, we have seen them before. In fact, we saw them around very, like, quite a few places. Especially around that, like, weapon island. So, we're getting towards the edge of the map, is my guess. Last thing I want to do is meet a Reaper attacking us, though. Oh, nope. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Ascend, ascend, ascend. It's diving. Good. It's past after us. Technically, we wouldn't be able to see anything behind us. Because, uh, oh god. Another. Because our slipstream, uh, the wake of our screws would actually make it hard to hear in the water behind us. Okay. Yeah, okay, you are pretty deep. Down, gently down. Enemy. Another enemy. Okay, pass, pass by, pass by. Volcanic activity. That's ruins off to my left. Unusual electromagnetic readings. That's part of the aurora off to the left. I need to explore that. Oh my god, look at that. That's a huge chunk of the aurora. Oh, we did want to find some blueprints. That's volcanic plumes below us. Okay. Well. This isn't freaky whatsoever. Um, Before we go out... Let's go eat something. Okay, we're feeling a lot better now. We've got our med kit. Seal the door. We'll make sure we have sealed doors around here. Like, this is actually a dangerous area. Oh, look at that. Medium Kush. Okay. Um. Interesting tunnel. Gotta concentrate on the bits of the Aurora, though. Okay. Doesn't look like an entrance over here. Oh, crap, it's one of those predators. Aha! There's the entrance. Okay, that's a locked door. Oh god, my own shadow scared the crap out of me there. This is going to be a pain to get out of again. I'm now lost. I don't know how many times I turned around there. Oh 
Oh dear lord. Uh, where am I? How did I get here? I already have that. How long have I got? 60 seconds. Ah! Okay, this is where you don't panic. You've got to stay cool and calm and collected. That is water. I really don't need that. That's water. That's broken. Where did I get in? How did I get in here? Thirty seconds. I know. Shush. I am going to die in here. There, right there, there, there. Go. Uh, what game? What are you doing? Oh God, no game. I'm gonna blame you for my death. Oxygen. Oh God, you know what? I'm just open this data box because I have no idea anymore. That little frame jiggle that happened. That did it for me. I lost track of where I was in the conduit. There we go, it's the second death. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Shush, be quiet. Silent running. Do you not know what that means? It means shush, be quiet. Okay, where are we? What were we doing? Okay, so we went in here. We must have been in this exact room. Okay, what's in here? Something we already have. Ah. I was really hoping it was something new. Basic plant pot. Okay. How is that different to the one that we've already got? Like, this door's locked, which makes me think there must be something on the other side. The screams of the dying and damn don't help. Ooh, hello. Please don't be an alien on the other side. Okay, like, there could have been. Uh, okay, weldy weldy door. Uh, way down to the bottom. Okay, let's take the weldy weldy door. Okay, 65 seconds of air. We can live with that. I mean, I can't get my cup of tea because I'm holding down the mouse button. I could try and do it left-handed and I'd probably end up punching the microphone. This is a nightmare. That'd be terrible. You're a diver, you can't get cups of tea. Oh my god, I've only just realized this. This uh, looks suspiciously like where we were before, right? It's actually not. It's just very, very similar. Oh, actually, I do want the battery. I'm going to have to go back in a second. Come on, give me the... Yeah, Screw you. 30 seconds. That's a stasis rifle fragment. I already have a stasis rifle. Okay. Um... Right. Oxygen. Whew. There we go. And back out again. There's a PDA. Aha. Integrating the new PDA data. Uh, trans gives the right to cell phone. Blah 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 blah. And you can't engage in population abuse, blah blah blah. In theory, this door. I wonder. No, those beams look way too big. I won't be able to move them even with the RAV system. That door's locked. I don't want to say it, but I think we have to have a closer look around this, like, chunk of shit. 
because there could be more stuff here. The problem is I really don't want to say it because there's lots of gribbly horrible things around. Could there be more stuff down here that we missed? I don't like going down here, considering what happened last time. You know what? Screw it. We're going back. Back to the ship. Get some more air. Explore from a different angle. Call it here. But like, there are only so many large chunks of the Aurora, and people have told me that, you know, large chunks of the Aurora need to be fully explored because they have most of the interesting, like, what are they called? Like, data downloads, like, new texts and stuff. The problem is I still haven't found all of them, and there are better ones, and there are bits of prawn suit, which I need. Light stick fragment. Okay. That is some sort of grow bed. The plants are still alive in it. Hmm. Bone shark. Yoink! Goodbye. Ah, oh, there are so many close by enemies! Gonna pull away, gonna pull away, gonna pull away and head to life bar 12. There we go. We've got a 90 meter dive. Keep an eye out for enemies. There's an oxygen plant below us. Data box, at least. No idea what was in there, sadly. PDA. Oh, we're gonna have a quick look at them. This is Medical Officer Danby. I'm breaking out the sphere at high velocity, planet full in 20 seconds, explosion, taking fire, going to a spin, attempting. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't get very far. And sadly, it doesn't look like there's anything of real note around here. I mean, for coming out all this way, I was kind of expecting something else. Like, maybe these, like, magical ultra glide fins that people. Is it? No, no, it's not the ultra glide. I already have those. The charge fins that people keep telling me about. Was this just, like, a solid lump of gold? Maybe. I came out all the way to this dangerous environment with my very valuable ship. Is there nothing here? Apparently so. Oh, what the hell? That's the thing that tried to mesmerize me earlier. Oh, it's a carnivorous son of a... Ah! Hello. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go back to our ship then. Huh. Oh, there's a bone shark. At least we're not the deep down that we can still see sunlight. And Welcome sometimes my torso. That's weird. Battle. All systems online. Okay. Well, you know, we did our best. I guess. I'm going to go straight up. And we're going to turn ourselves into a pointing south. Back towards the rest of the biome. <laughs> Everything is down there. This is the first I've actually been away from the edge. I mean, I don't know if our base to the south, where we came in through the blood kelp zone, if that's further away. But this certainly felt further away. Like, it felt more dangerous. I don't know if that's true or not. Have I seen you before? Or are you new? You might be new. Oh, 
Okay, I give up. I've, I can't get any more metal. I am all metaled out. I have picked up loads of it, and there's still more down there. Seriously, there is so much still down there. I built more lockers to contain it, and I can't. There's, there's just so much of it. There we go. You're full of metal. You're full of, well, mostly metal. You're full of metal and urine. Um, no, no, no going more. No going for more. We've got plenty. Let's just get out of here. Don't fall into the trap of just wanting more and more and more. What we need is prawn suit fragments. Don't know where we're going to find those. Maybe we need to go exploring. Maybe south. Looks like a really deep hole. I'm going to go and have a look down that hole. Yeah, we're fine. What is down the hall? Where's the hole? Towards our tail? Oh man, oh that's not a hole! Dive sideways, dive sideways! Down here. <laughs> this is not risky whatsoever. Oh, you can have copper. Ow, 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 ow. Yep. How are those fish still alive? You cheeky... These are cheats. Move away, move away, move away. I want another look down there though. Looks like there might be like another layer down below that we can try and sneak into. We could do that, we could do that. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Bear in mind that we do need to be able to try and get to the surface at some point. The hell, is there copper ore around here? I'm in. It's fine, it's only like minor hurt. Oh, there's actually another way out. Why did I go this way? Let's get it! Oh god. I think it's unfair those fish get to do that. Go, 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 go. Copper. Run! Sorry, wait, sorry. Oh. I really like copper. I think that's a fair, that's a fair, like, cop, right? I, I like my copper. Okay, well we managed like actually successfully pass the I didn't move there. We actually managed to successfully pass some silent running. We got some copper. And gold and titanium and silver, but mostly copper and some quartz, which we needed. Uh we'll drink that. Mm hmm We're uh we're doing good right now. We're doing good. This is probably a good place to leave the episode. So I'm gonna drive back to base. We really need to find out, like, where we can get those fragments of the prawn suits. Uh, what else do we need? To not hit things. I assume that's just, like, individual fish we're hitting, and I really don't care about individual fish, but they sound really loud. What else do we need? Um... Our base is over there. Swing sideways. Yeah, we need the prawn suit arm. Like, we need to be able to make ourselves a drilling arm. Because then we can have a grapple arm for moving around and a drilling arm for being able to get ourselves, like, loads of resources. We could then get the charge fins to be able to charge as we move. And we can start building more bases. Now, if we don't find the prawn suit, I think our aim has to be to get uh, a few more decent bases. Maybe even expand our one here. Not to make it, like, a super large base, because I want a super large base in an interesting place. But I think we do deserve a decent base here just because we're going past it all the time. 
and a place where we could stock up on food with growing stuff, uh, a place where we can have constant good power rather than just the crappy solar power that works only part of the time. Maybe we build a different base, like move this away from here, go to somewhere with um, heat. I don't know. Uh, maybe bar rack would be fine. But for now, um, I've been at Elysium. I'm going to go do some good old-fashioned repair tasks, and if you have enjoyed, please remember to like, and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Got any advice? Uh, feel free to comment down below. We've seen a lot of interesting stuff in the Lost River lately. This episode is more, uh, more escape from the Lost River, if anything. Oh, no, don't want to do that, whoopsie. But uh, we do need to go back there, because, hell, we need to find out what's going on down there with the uh, alien stuff. I mean, at some point we're going to have to find that disease containment facility where they're testing the disease and find a way to cure ourselves. But the Lost River had an alien thing, so maybe that's the same one. Probably not. It's actually not 70 meters away. It's more like over a kilometer away, so... Eh. But either way, it might have a clue. And it looks interesting. And also, all of those bloody skeletons down there, they look awesome. Maybe we should upgrade the Seamoth and take the Seamoth down there. We do actually have the stuff now to upgrade the Seamoth. We have so much titanium. We could do that. Oh my god, we could totally do that. <gasps> Maybe we should upgrade Seamoth and take it with us. I still want to take the Cyclops down there. We don't have any of the... Where do you find the upgrades to the Cyclops? Seriously. Yeah. If we had the upgrades to the Cyclops, we could take the Cyclops down there. The Cyclops can go really, really deep when you upgrade it. Where are my upgrades to the Cyclops? Oh. Anyway, I've been at Like, subscribe. Until next time, comment down below and stay shiny.